this is not a birch box. This is a birch box, but that's not what in it. What's in it? What I've been putting in here is sort of things that I've been trying to weed out of my makeup drawers um, during the month of November. Um, I am recording a favorites as well. Don't worry, it's coming out tomorrow. <laughs> but um, I sort of have stuff that I'm weeding out of my makeup drawers. Um, I sort of go through a process when I'm weeding things out of my makeup drawers. Like, um, I don't tend to want to throw stuff out right away, even if I'm not using it, because, well, because it makes me feel guilty to throw out something right away. So I sort of keep it in a little box, and then I go through it at the end of the month, and um, if I still feel guilty, I'll put it back. If I'm going, no, I'm really not going to use that, then I um, get rid of it. So this is the stuff that's still in my box to get rid of from the month of November. It's going out to the trash. I would share it with the rest of the world if, you know, it wasn't used. <laughs> and I didn't really think it was that great. Okay, so um, some of you might have seen my Costco haul from a while back um, where I got like a hair removal cream. And then um, there was a Housewife confessional, I believe, where I used it the night before and I was super, super red still. Um, so obviously my skin is way too sensitive to be using the Olay um, hair removal system. Um, so I got two of each because it was Costco, you know, <laughs> and they came in a package. So it was the, the balm and um, cream um, because I have this really, really light fur. You probably can't see it because it's just like, it's just really, really light fur. and. It, it just frustrates me, but um, obviously this is not going to be what I'm using. Um, I'm getting a little, any moment now or any day now, because I ordered it over the weekend, the um, Epilady facial thing. I'm going to try that. If not, I'll try Sugar Scrub. You know, I'm going to try different things. But the Olay crap, well, I'm sure it's good stuff because it did it removed really well, but I think my skin is just too sensitive to be using it. Um, something I bought this summer was the Naturally Luminous Mineral Powder Blush by Maybelline. This one, I bought it in True Peach. Um, oh, yeah. so, so, I don't like it. Um, I don't like the powder blush. I find it hard to apply. The color, you know, is okay, I suppose. But now it's all over my desk. The colors, you can't even really see it on my hand. Um, the color's fine, but I, I just find that the powder, mineral powder sort of container with the powder and the coming out like this, I just, I just find it really unwieldy. I find it hard to work with. It goes all over everywhere like it just did. All over my desk now. Um, so... Yeah, not going to keep that. Oh, sadness, sadness, sadness. The Revlon Lip Butters. I bought four. Um, I had such, you know, I bought in the hype. I had great expectations. I bought four. I used them for a while before I realized what was drying out my lips was actually the Revlon Lip Butters. So, um, and they were drying, like, it would feel really good for a while like half an hour or so, and then all of a sudden it would just like, my lips would be drier than ever. Um, I thought it was just you know, starting the furnace in the house and stuff, but um, it's it's these, um, because I've stopped using them and stopped, started using something else, and it it's these. Sad, but true. And I know I'm not the only one. I know Shauna from Rather Be Dancing 3, I know she sort of felt the same way about them. So, too bad. <sighs> Impulse buy at Rite Aid for some reason at some point was the Project Runway palettes of eyeshadows in, uh, this is the quad in Watchful Owl's Gaze. They um, look like this. The problem with this palette is that the gold and the bronze um, bring out like 
the green <laughs> in my skin. I feel like the palette really um, kind of makes me look um, a little sick. It has like a slightly greenish tinge and when I put it on my eyes I feel like the whole rest of my face sort of gets a greenish tinge to it. So that's not very nice. It's going away. They, they, they're really nicely pigmented. I mean, yeah. Um, another thing I really, really, actually really liked using, but they made my eyes water, like, a lot. It really, my eyes had a bad reaction to them, which I find kind of funny, because it's the physician's formula, <laughs> so they're supposed to be, like, physician-formulated <laughs> sort of thing. Um, it's the, um, Custom Eye Enhancing Gel Creamer Liner, there's three of them for blue eyes. And they're lovely, lovely pigments, um, and you apply them with like a tiny little brush. Um, and I particularly liked um, the the blue cream. I particularly like that one. I'll see if I can swatch that. See, it's a lovely dark blue navy, really, really pretty. Um, but like I said, it made my eyes water. Um, and that made me kind of sad, but um, luckily, MAC has fluid line, <laughs> which doesn't make my eyes water, so that's my, um, I was hoping for the, you know, the cheaper drugstore option, but it's just, it just wasn't going to work for me. Um, I had been holding on to this for a while, but um, this is the um, L'Oreal Studio Secrets Anti-Redness Primer. Um, it works, but I prefer the um, Make It Forever HD Micro Perfecting Primer in green. And frankly, as long as that exists, I'm not going to use the L'Oreal. So there you go. Because um, it's just not quite as good. It's not bad. I'm not giving it a bad review or anything. But that's, yeah. And finally, this lipstick has been hanging out in my... Um, makeup drawer for forever and ever and ever. I can't even remember where it came from. I keep thinking, oh, there might be an occasion when you want to use this lipstick. That's the color, sort of a bricky, lovely bricky red. It's very matte, creamy, um, but not for me. <laughs> I really don't like this color on me. I, it's way too dramatic for me. It's too bricky red. I prefer more of a pinkish, bluish based red than this sort of bricky red. Um, gosh, maybe I shouldn't throw it out. It seems a, you know, it seems a shame to throw it out. It's like, I don't even know where it came from. It's called Gel X Lipswick. Um, Select by Vincent Longo. I think it must have come in like a, a, a like as an extra thing with something else I purchased because I would never pick to buy this. It must have come with something else. So <laughs> I just I just really feel like this color is not the correct color red for me to be wearing. It's it's too sireny for me. Um, if I'm going to go with this vibrant, I would rather go with something more bluish based. Um, but looking at it, I, it's not bad. Of course, it's not applied well right now, but um, it's not horrendous, I guess. Okay, so uh, I'm going to keep it. <laughs> but the rest of the stuff, yeah, no, much as it pains me to throw stuff out, it's going. Um, so those were my to be discarded from November. Uh, check back tomorrow for my uh, favorites. Okay, bye-bye.